Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from Clickskeak. And today's case study, I want to run through a real estate lawyer. Uh, I believe this guy's out in Tennessee. And we're going to go through February 1st, February 29th, 2020. <clears throat> I blurred out his campaign name just for the fact that his actual practice name was in there. So uh, let's go through some quick stats here. You can see he's spending about 65 a day or was spending about 65 a day. He got 282 clicks in February out of 4,300 impressions. Average click-through rate of 6.4, which I'm very happy with. Average cost per click, about $6.79. His total spend for those 30 days was $1,900, and he got 49 leads. So that's at a cost of lead per lead of $39. Conversion rate, 17%, which is a little bit lower than we'd like to see. Um, I'd always like to see a real estate lawyer above 20, but the times were uh, a little different going in February, March, April, and right now is April, so I'm not really surprised by that. Anyways, um, so 49 conversions, these are these are phone calls and form submissions. Probably in this guy's case, about 50-50 of each. Now the forms that were getting submitted were for a, the hook was a free consultation with a real estate lawyer. And um, name, phone, email, tell us about your situation, contact box. That's pretty much it. Lots of heavy call to actions on the mobile side of the landing page to just click the call. A lot of click the call buttons and stuff like that. And um, the keywords and the ad groups were all high intent. People looking exactly for a real estate lawyer, um, real estate lawyer city name, real estate lawyer zip codes, like all those types of keywords going after all the local intent keywords, stuff like that. And um, obviously all the normal stuff like real estate law firm and the generic terms. But um, we found that the the real estate lawyer plus city name stuff, real estate lawyer plus zip code, those tend to convert really, really well over uh, more generic stuff. The landing page, um, like I said, very simple. Call to action to call, contact form, a little bit about the, the law firm, uh, a couple reviews or screenshots from Google or Yelp. And then another call to action to get a free consultation. The budget is 65 a day, so it's very affordable. And he got great results. He got a few cases out of this too, so it was a nice, healthy ROI on the campaign. He paused when all this stuff hit the fan with uh, coronavirus, but he'll be back. So you don't need much money to run these campaigns, okay? You can run a real estate law campaign successfully, generating a positive return on investment for about 50 bucks a day. Obviously, the more you spend... The more you're going to get leads, the more the higher the return on investment is going to be. So if you guys have any questions about the real estate law niche, anything like that, or if you're interested in running this type of campaign for your real estate law office, or if you have a client who has a real estate lawyer and you want to run a campaign like this, we can deploy this campaign at your location. Or if you just have questions about this campaign in particular or a real estate law niche in particular, drop them in the comments below this video and don't forget to check out the links in the description i put some i'm sorry the uh don't forget to check out the description because i put i put some links in there for you guys to some cool stuff i think you'll find helpful